In this video, I'm going to talk about light painting and the two using mobile device, not using any expensive camera. So in order for you to do that with the simple basic settings and using an ordinary camera, not an iPhone or expensive Android phone, it's just using your ordinary mobile phone, how you can do this kind of light painting. So stay tuned till the end. So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ravindra. Well, all of us do not have these expensive DSLR cameras or even the basic cameras. And most of us were having point and shoot earlier, but these days point and shoot is almost gone and everything has come to the mobile device. You can even use the basic mobile device. You don't have to have an iPhone or an expensive Android phone. The only thing that you need on your mobile device is to have a camera and manual settings in it. And in addition, you might need a tripod because I would highly suggest having a tripod or anything where you can keep your mobile in one location without moving it. Because for light painting, you need to keep the camera steady for a few seconds. So basically, it's a long exposure shot and you are supposed to hold the camera in one single location for at least 5 to 10 seconds. The ideal time for you to capture this kind of image would be under low light, especially after sunset. You don't need any sunlight at this time because it's already a long exposure shot and you don't want to have too much of light entering your sensor. So you might need additional mobile device or whatever light source that you have. It can be anything. It, it can be even Diwali crackers or whatever it is. The photos that you see, these are all experimental photos that I tried just to make this video. You can even try the same method with the same settings on a DSLR to get even better output. So with the mobile phone, which we all have, you can experiment that and you don't have to be a pro photographer to do this. So, so first of all, increase the brightness on your mobile device to 100% and then download the color that you want, say green or yellow or orange or bright red or whatever color that you want. It is available in the Google, you can just Google that and then download the particular color that you want and make that as your wallpaper. You don't have to even save that as a wallpaper, but just open that image so that you can move that in front of the camera to get these painting. So the next thing that I will do is switch to pro mode and go to manual settings in it. Usually in the mobile device, the aperture remains constant. So the only thing that you can play around with is ISO, but do not increase ISO to such a high level on a mobile device because that will only add grains on your image. And because this is a long exposure shot, there will be some light entering the sensor and you can still gain good quality image and you don't have to increase the ISO. While capturing you might see everything as dark in the screen but just go with the settings initially and you might want to increase ISO to maybe instead of 50 you can increase it to 200 so that your image will remain focused. The next thing that you can do is increase the shutter speed to 8 or 10 seconds and then try with a few sample shots. I would highly suggest you to use timer because any click you'll have to run over there in front or if there are two people then that's well and good. You can always ask the other person to click that photo for you but or else if you're alone that's how I did this. You just set a timer of 5 seconds and then run in front of the camera and move the light around in the pattern of your kind. Say if it's a hard shape or if it's a circular waves, if it's a circular motion or if it's a wave formation or, or whatever design that you want, you can try with that. And how did I achieve two lights? Well, I have used two different mobile devices in addition to the one that I used for capturing. And trust me, everything was using mobile device and there was no DSLR of any kind used here in this. Well, you may not get the right shot initially, but you, you might have to play around a little bit with the, the settings and then you'll definitely get the image of your choice. Note that there should not be any kind of street light in the background because if there is a fluorescent lamp or a tube light in the background, then it will light up really bright. Make sure that everything is switched off around and it's dark so that the entire focus will remain only on the lit up mobile screen and the next point is to not hold your mobile device in one place because it will appear pure white so keep moving the device say for example if i have set the shutter speed to 10 seconds then make sure that you move your arms or the whatever formation that you want for the next 10 seconds you can see this butterfly kind of thing where you can see two circles so what i've done is i've got two mobile devices on both the hands and then i move that into different circles so that's the reason why you see two there and also the hard shape that you get to see you can either draw it this way or you can if you, have, if you can move your hand in hard shape for the 10 seconds, then that's how you can capture it. So just play around, it's going to be super fun. You don't need any expensive gadgets for this or any kind of accessories. All that you need is a simple mobile phone. And again, tripod is something that I recommend in order to get a good quality photo. It should not be a blurry photo. So you have to keep your camera still for at least five to 10 seconds in one place. So this is a new series that I've started. So you might want to check out the playlist, experiment with this and just leave a comment if you like this. And if you have already tried that, then how was your experience? So just leave a comment, I would like to know. And if you learned something today, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit on that bell icon because I'll be sharing many more videos of this kind. Stay tuned, cheers.